What's up guys, welcome back. Casey here with Max Roma and today is Tuesday, first impression Tuesday guys. We are trying out Polo Red Intense. So this is the stronger version of the Polo Red. The original one that was, it's a little bigger as well. Although this is the 2.5 fluid ounce, 75 ml version. However, the difference is that this is a um, EDP, whereas the Polo Red, if I'm not mistaken, is the EDT version, as this is the intense version. Now, this is the fragrance bottle, bottle design as it is. Now the uh, Polo Red, what I'm familiar with, what I've seen in the malls and whatnot, um, is that it has a, just the red without the actual stripe and the polo logo in the middle right here. Now, the um, polo, the these red fragrances in general, from my experience, they have this fresh, spicy kind of spicy notes usually incorporated in them, either warm, spicy, or in this case, fresh, spicy. Now, the top notes to be expected for this fragrance are a mix of um, fruity tones, so blood orange, or uh, pardon, blood grapefruit. So I didn't even know grapefruit had a blood version, so to speak. Blood grapefruit is one to expect. Cranberry, lemon, and saffron are the top notes for this fragrance. Now, in terms of mid notes, you can expect ginger, coffee, um, sage, and lavender. Now, these are nice mix of just a diverse mix for that mid note to keep things interesting, you know? The coffee and the lavender mix are definitely gonna be making it a little denser, so to speak, but the other notes are gonna keep it uh, more leaning towards that fresh spicy as well. Now, as for base notes, you can expect amber, um, I believe it had red cedar. I've, I haven't been familiarized with that um, fragrance note and leather. So this fragrance has kind of that versatility of a spring summer fragrance, but also a um, winter fall fragrance. Now, I believe this um, fragrance is more of a versatile year round fragrance. However, of course, we'll be trying this out for 48 hours um, to review it on Thursday after a, you know, more a uh, general breakdown of the fragrance notes and we can understand how the fragrance overall develops. Now, as for our first impressions, we can try it out, see how it is. Already, as I popped out the cap, I can smell the fragrance. Nice, fresh, spicy, fruity tone. Definitely something I think I would be interested to have as a daily. In the beginning, it definitely has that cranberry and lemon pop. Has a sweet kind of tone to it though. Sweet fruit tone as well as, as well as that kind of bitter, I think that would be the blood um, grapefruit to be honest. That kind of bitter, fresh tones. It's a very nice mix that just opens up right as you spray it onto your skin. I'm gonna let it fan out just a bit, just to try to see if I can expect the um, coffee tone to pick up as well. Although it seems I can't really discern that coffee note or um, the base notes as a whole, I would expect that to be developing over a span of maybe 15 to 20 minutes, give or take, so that the um, fragrance can dry down a little and settle down more onto your skin. Now, that's all that we have for our first impressions of Polo Red Intense. Now, don't forget, 48 hour test, we will be executing that over Wednesday and Thursday, and we'll be reviewing it Thursday to provide you a background on the scent breakdown, on the recommended usage, longevity that we experienced, and the projection that we experienced. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel for these first impressions. Overall, every single week we have Tuesday's first impressions, Thursday's 48 hour test and review, as well as don't forget to like and follow us on Instagram and Facebook for our weekly fragrance sale guys weekly fragrance sale announced every single wednesday so make sure to like and follow us on those social media as well and to subscribe to our channel for our thursday review of polo red intense thanks for watching and we'll see you next time Let it go. Let it go.
Everybody's high